Today we're making gengmang. Gengmang is probably the taste that I associate most strongly with Lunar New Year, even though bingjung is the main event. Without the unique earthy and sweet flavors of this bamboo shoot soup, that just wouldn't be the same. My family uses fresh bamboo shoots more often in our cooking throughout the year, like for sauteed dishes or bumangvit, which is duck and bamboo shoot noodle soup, whereas these dried bamboo shoots are almost exclusively reserved for this dead soup. The broth is made with a combination of trotters and ribs. They not only give the broth a beautiful natural sweetness, but also an abundance of collagen, which is really good for your joints, skin, and hair. The dried bamboo shoots need to be soaked in hot water for three to five days with several water changes and boiled before using. This process rehydrates the bamboo shoots and removes cyanogenic glycosides that could otherwise upset your stomach. After they are boiled, the bamboo shoots are sauteed, allowing them to absorb all the seasoning before they are added to the pot of pork broth, infusing their unique flavors into the soup. If you have never had dried bamboo, the distinct taste is a bit difficult to describe. It has a rich umami flavor with a unique fragrance. The texture has a meaty quality, chewy but tender, that I love. For this recipe, you'll need dried bamboo shoots, pork ribs or trotters, I like using half and half, shallot, green onions, fish sauce, vegetable oil, bouillon, and ground black pepper. To go from this to this, we need to first soak the bamboo shoots three to five days in advance. Here's a close-up of what they look like before and what they look like after. Add the dried bamboo shoots to a heat-proof bowl or pot, cover with boiling water. Strain and add in fresh boiling water two to three times a day. Here you can see that the water from the first soak was almost red. You'll see it get significantly lighter as we keep soaking and straining. Depending on the type of dehydrated bamboo you buy, the soaking time may be different. In the photo, you can see two different types of bamboo shoots. The type on the left, my mom sent from Vietnam. It is very dry and leathery before soaking. This needs about four to five days. The type on the right, we bought here in the US and it is much less dry even before soaking. This only needs two and a half to three days. This was the last soak, and as you can see, the water is much lighter than when we started. It will still be yellow and not colorless. This is expected. This is the result. Nice and soft pieces of bamboo shoots, ready to cook. Before making the broth, we want to parboil the pork. Add ribs and trotters to a pot. You can either use the same pot you would for the broth, or a smaller one just for parboiling. Add salt, white onion, which will help remove odor, and enough cold water to cover. Bring to boil on medium-high, then let boil for three minutes. Strain and rinse the ribs and trotters to completely remove bits of scum. If you're using the same pot for broth, give it a rinse as well. This is what the meat looked like after parboiling. To a large soup pot, add the pork, water, and bouillon. Bring to boil on medium-high heat. Once boiling, reduce heat to medium-low, cover, and simmer for at least 45 minutes. During the simmering process, check on the broth a few times to skim off any impurities that form on the surface. I have moved the broth pot to the main stove. While that simmers, we'll prep the bamboo shoots. After you have strained out the soaking water, rinse the bamboo shoots well. Add them to a pot and cover with water. Bring to boil on medium-high, then let boil for five minutes. Once done, strain the bamboo shoots and let sit until cool enough to handle. In the meantime, peel and thinly slice shallot.
Remove the roots, then cut green onion stalks to separate the white and green parts. Cut the whites into roughly 3 cm pieces. Quarter each piece lengthwise. Thinly slice the greens. Set both parts aside. We will use them for garnish. Once the bamboo shoots are cool enough to handle, cut them into bite-sized pieces, about 3 to 4 centimeters. I like cutting a few into strips, piling them up, then slicing into pieces. If you come across any bits that look and feel tough, discard them. Heat a pan on medium and add oil. Add the sliced shallot and saute until fragrant about 30 to 40 seconds. Add in the bamboo shoots. Season with fish sauce, bouillon, and ground black pepper. Saute for 5 minutes to let the bamboo shoots absorb the seasoning. the bamboo to the pot of broth, mix them in, cover and simmer for 20 minutes. Season to taste with additional fish sauce if needed. Doesn't even need extra seasoning, it's already perfect. Wow, it's so good. <laughs> Ladle your soup into a large bowl. Garnish with the green onion and serve. Tastes like lead. Some fresh rice. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. As usual, make sure you subscribe to our channel and visit mmbonappetit.com for more Vietnamese and French recipes. Mm -hmm.